Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is from Bush Mills. This is their pre-prohibition recipe coming in at a 46% ABV, minimum three year age statement. This is a special release in tangent with Peaky Blinders, the TV show. And they wanted to recreate their pre-prohibition recipe to go along with the TV show to kind of do a special homage to the, I think it's wrapping up. Um, I've never checked out the show, but I started watching the trailer and a few things and it looks kind of interesting. So I might have to check it out thanks to the whiskey itself. Now this is non-chill filtered. And again, the recipe is very similar to what would have been made at that time. Uh, it's a blend of three, four and five year old whiskey, predominantly four years old. So I've done Bush Mills many of times and I've had really good experiences with them. It's one of my favorite intros to whiskey and Irish whiskey in general. It's a real great pour, especially with their other ones with the uh, ex-bourbon cask and then the um, the sherry cask versions as well. So let's go on and get this one going. As always, we're gonna try it two different ways. First way, neat, no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a drop of water. See what changes up. This has got a pull tab on it. I do not see a pull tab. It's all right, no biggie. But yeah, I've done several of them. I, f I think I've gotten, yeah, the Irish honey as well. I found a bottle of that. So I've had my fair share of Bush Mills. I haven't gotten up into their age stated ones yet. I need to. But with this, and I just started seeing this on the shelf. I was like, man, I really want to give it a try. I see they went with cork style here. They went with cork style, I think, on the black version. Um, the Bush Mills Black. Black Bush. I'm interested to see how the new chill filtering goes. Beautiful golden color. It looks very similar to Bush Mills. Maybe a little darker. Yeah, looks good. All right. Let's go for notes. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, honey. Yeah, that's got some honeycomb on there. Like fresh honeycomb. Jumping out of the glass. I'm going to have to do an AV comparison to the standard Bush Mills as well. Oh, man. Little, little little sharp on the ethanol, but we'll, we'll let it open up a moment here too. Definitely get the barley. It's a mm, very barley grain forward on there. Fruity as well, very citrus bright. It's got a little bit of a, an herbal quality going on there, like a spice herbal quality. Yeah, little bit of that malt funk there in the background. Citrus, spice. I would say like a cinnamon quality to that, almost like um, like a herbal sage quality even. Yeah, got like fresh, we grow sage and I love fresh sage. So it kind of gives me that little bit of a remembrance of that. That's interesting. I like that nose. Well, let's go for taste. On a taste too, sage forward. Mmm. That's got a punch to it. I like that. Oh man. The taste mimics the nose. You get this sweet honeycomb, bit of citrus, like an orange zest quality there. A little bit of cinnamon. The sage is from start to finish. The beautiful herbal sage. Mm. A little bit of sweet in there too. Just a little bit of a vanilla. A little bit of spice in there. It's a little shiny. You can definitely tell it's a younger whiskey. Um, it's just got that little bit of sharpness of that youth in there. But besides that, it's damn good. Wow. Mm. I can see that definitely being good in cocktails too. That's kind of one of the ways they, they, I might make it too. I might make that as a separate video, do one of their cocktails. 
The only thing that's really holding it back from being an amazing sip is that youth. It is kind of sharp and bright at the end. Definitely almost teeters that metallic, but it's got that beautiful honeycomb, that sage, that bit of spice from cinnamon. It's got like a, an orange zesty quality there. And a little bit of that um, barley is coming through as well. It's really good. Mm. It's really darn good. Okay. See what happens when we add a little water to her. But yeah, I, I never knew about the TV show prior, so it was kind of one of those things I seen the they were releasing a whiskey, and I was like, okay, what's the show about? And I started looking into it this morning. I was like, hmm, this sounds like something I might enjoy. I might have to take a look at it. Go for notes on the water. Ooh. The grain funk note is <laughs> very straightforward. Getting that like almost monkey shoulder, musty, funky note. Like that grain is damp grain. You're getting a little bit of a citrus sweet in there as well. The honeycomb is gone. You get a little bit of that sage quality in there. But the, uh, that grain wet, yeah, that wet grain note definitely is showing up. All right, let's go for taste. It goes a lot more simple on the taste. Not as much of the wet grain as I was expecting it to have. It's there a little bit, but a lot sweeter. I would say almost lemony sweet now. It's teetering between orange and lemon. Spice is coming out a little bit more, but more, now it's more of a generalized, almost like a rice spice quality to it. I wouldn't say I could necessarily say cinnamon and sage. The honey sweetness is there. And it does cut that little bit of metallic at the end that I was getting on the neat version, which is interesting. I didn't expect that at all. Mm. Yeah, I think that pretty well puts a nail on it. I'm really surprised that damp grain note didn't show up more on the taste. I'm kind of happy it doesn't. As always, it doesn't matter what you drink or how you drink it, as long as you enjoy it. It's not too bad. I actually don't, don't mind that at all. All right, let's talk about market price because we all know market price is market price and it's always gonna vary. Picked this up for $32 and I've seen it all over the course now. Um, I've not seen it anywhere locally that has had that cheaper found one store that has it right now. And uh, online I've seen it go as low as like 27 to 25 all the way up into 49's 50's. So it's all over the board it's because it's a limited edition, special edition bottle. Um, you know, 30, I would say $30 is okay for this. Uh, when you compare it to their other bottlings of like Black Bush and Red Bush are both in mid 20, mid to high 20's. Uh, you know, a special edition if you're a collector for $30 isn't bad. And the whiskey inside is pretty solid too. Um, it's not rewriting a lot of things, though I do love the sage quality coming out in this one compared to the neat version on standard Bushmills. And it's just got some different nuances there. I kind of wish they'd keep this one around because it's really solid. And I could definitely, again, see this being good as mixers and just having a little more fun bringing out some different uh, of the herbal qualities that it was bringing. So yeah, there you have it, Bushmills Prohibition Recipe. If you have any questions about the bottle itself, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific spirits I should go looking for, also let me know down below. I am always on the hunt for something unique and fun to share with you. And as always, make your last drink of the night be the best one.
you know, I really like it. It might 